friends, welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla. I appreciate you being here today. Thanks for stopping by to hang out with me for a few minutes while I'm working on a project. And I will tell you what I'm pro working on and what I'm doing and how I came to this point of my project. So, um, Big Daddy had asked me to make a blanket for one of his co-workers' grandbaby that will be born soonish. I'm not exactly sure when the baby's going to be born. But he asked me to make a blanket. And we went in the yarn room, and he picked out a um, a pretty blanket. It's a Barnett. Well, here, it's right over here. He picked out this blanket yarn here. It's a, um, a clearance blanket yarn that I had. And I only had three balls of this, and so I said, well, I'll try. And so I worked up a sample of it and did not like it at all. Um, I didn't like how stiff it was. It had no drapiness to it. And the truth be told, I needed to go up to a size 12 millimeter hook because I was trying to use a 9. And um, I needed to go up to that size hook. But the truth is, I don't have enough yarn to make a baby blanket because I only have three of these balls. And they're um, 72 yards. So we all know 72 yards doesn't go very far. Even in a bulky yarn, three of those was not make a blanket. So I ditched that idea and said, no, that's not going to work. we got to come up with another plan. Well, he was kind of disappointed that I wasn't doing that one. But I was just like, what can we do, you know? So I was talking to him some more about the parents of the baby and you know i know that the son his co-worker's son who is the father of the baby i know he's a big hunter and so uh and actually i think his name is hunter but i know that he is a big hunter as most people in the south are tend to be <laughs> anyway and so we got to talking about and he said oh they're decorating the nursery in ducks like mallard ducks I was like, okay, why don't we start with this? Because that gives me a starting point. So I thought about it all night. And um, I, when I woke up this morning, I said, okay, I'm going to make a duck blanket. It's not going to look like a traditional duck blanket or whatever, but I'm, I'm making it a duck blanket. So I uh, got down some books I had, some granny square books, hoping there was a duck and there wasn't. Actually, I got, first I got this book by Ira Rott that goes back and forth and has an animal in the middle. And of course, there was no duck. And then I got my Granny Squares books down. No ducks. So I said, okay, I'm just going to make a duck out of that. I mean, I'm just going to make a duck. So the basic circle. And then you square it off. And this is the double crochets in every stitch. Well, I, I don't want to make the whole blanket like this. I want to um, turn this into a granny stitch blanket. So that's what I'm fixing to do. And I was just going to show you guys how we're doing it. So I decided green for the duck's face. And then I found this off-white for um, that ring around the duck's neck. And then I had these three browns out, and I was trying to decide which one. I went in my yarn room and grabbed those three browns, and then I found this um, camouflage. And so, hey, they're hunters, camouflage, it all goes, right? So, uh, I was actually thinking that I had this brown that was a ombre by Red Heart. And I was thinking that would be good for the blanket, but I, I couldn't find it. So maybe I used that for something. I, I didn't see it in my stash. And so I must have used it or gave it away or something like that. So that's no longer there. So I decided on this brown, I, I decided that brown would flow into this camo the best. I tried different ones, you know, just trying to see what would flow and not you know i think this would be like way too light and it's too close to that so that was out i decided this one was way too dark it would be this dark dark spot and then this so i decided this was my happy medium 
And so you can see these are just scrap skeins. Um, this one was in my floppy cabinet. Yeah, and so they're not full skeins. They're just scraps, you know, that were left over from other projects. Okay, so I want to turn this square into a granny stitch blanket. So what I did, oh, here comes the cat. <laughs> Here, get right there and lay down. <laughs> okay, I'm going to remove the yarns that I'm not using anyway. Just so that um, she has room to lay down. And I'm not, you know, distracted with so much going on here. Lay down, Sassy. No, lay down. Okay, so what I did is I know I'm putting a corner in the corner, right? And then I counted three stitches and I put a um, stitch marker. And then I counted three and put a stitch marker. Same thing, three. And then the fourth number put a stitch marker. I did that all the way down. Now I did run out down here. There's not enough to do three here. But I'm just going to pretend like it is. Those blankets that... Um, I make the big square panel and then go around with the granny stitch. I've done the same thing with it. I've had to fudge it up, you know, like sometimes I'd fudge it up here and then I'd fudge it up here so the fudge wasn't all at the same place. But that's just the way it's going to go and it's going to work out fine. That's what I'm doing. Now on this first row, I am just adding in these stitch markers just so that... um I can see where I need to, what I need to be doing, okay? Just to help me, and um, that way I could make sure I had enough um, going on there. I oh, can't find the end of my yarn. <laughs> Here it is. So I'm just adding in, I am, I think I can crochet without this device in just a second but I'm just gonna leave a long tail because that tail needs to be trimmed anyway and I'm going to chain three one two and three okay and then I'm going to do my three oops <laughs> I don't want that tail to come through good grief Sorry about that. I grabbed the wrong yarn. So I'm trying to do things fast here. And you know what happens when you get in a hurry and you try to do it fast. You're bound to mess up. Okay. Now, I think I'm on the right road. One. Two and three. So that really did pull. <laughs> okay. Where's that little tail? I don't want you. I want this one. Okay. And I'm kind of pulling that tail to the side here. Because I'm crocheting over it. It's under my work here. So I'm crocheting it over a little bit. Okay. So there is... My three, did that split? No. Okay, my three double crochets, chain two, and then I'm doing my three double crochets. And one reason why I did put my stitch markers on here is because I know these three double crochets is bound to cover up a double crochet. And so I wanted to mark that before I had any double crochets that were hidden. From these stitches because it would be easy easy to skip that first one and so I just wanted to make sure that um, you know I did get that so I'm going to chain one in between my clusters some people do chain one and some people don't it's your preference there's no right way or wrong way you, it's just the look that you like or ever how you like it so now I'm going to do three 
was going to do. I chained one and I'm going to do three double crochets in this one stitch. One, two, and three. And I put my finger three. Okay, and then I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to jump over here to this one. I'm going to go ahead and put my stitch in there. I mean, I could count it, but just to try to make things quicker. One. Two. And three. And I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to come down. Let me get my double crochet ready. Mm. Try not to use the tip of that finger too much because it is hurting. It is giving me a little fit. I have another doctor's appointment with that tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. Then I'm going to try to use my other hook. And I'm using a 6 millimeter hook because that's my preference on hook size for blankets. You might like a 5 millimeter hook or 4. You might like an 8. You know, it's no right way or wrong way. You do what you want to do. Okay, so I'm going to switch and use my finger hook now. Okay, so, skipping three, and that would be into the fourth. And then we're going to lay this out and look at it and see how that is going around. Yeah, you know, I'm working on my sweetheart blanket, and there's still going to be a video about that. Don't worry. I will be doing a late night video for what is today monday monday's crochet on the sweetheart video we'll be out late tonight but i just wanted to i wanted to record this and i didn't want to wait till i needed to do the video i mean you know i i, I had to go ahead and record the video so i could work on the project <laughs> that makes sense y'all got it y'all understand so that's why I have this extra video, which I'm not mad about. I hope you're not either. But I think this, I think Big Daddy will like this, and it'll be something he might be proud to give as a gift. Um, I hope this will turn out and then um, so the center of it will be like a duck's face a mallard duck let's see what have I got going all right um one two three yeah I did it okay so this is the one where I'm just kind of fudging on a little bit and that's okay um, and so I've got to do, that would put it in the fourth, and then there's only two for that. I wish it was one more in there. <laughs> two, three, I'm trying to decide, do I want to leave two here or two here? And if whichever one I'm going to do, I don't think I should chain one in between that cluster for this row. The next row, I can chain one. Um, so, you know what? I'm not going to chain one. I'm going to put one, two, three right here. And once this is, once I'm going on this, I, it's going to even all out and you will not be able to tell that I had to fudge right here. I've done that plenty of times with blankets and it just works out. You know, crocheting is very forgiving. Um, lots of times when I make mistakes, I just keep going because um, it's very forgiving. 
and I'm not trying to be a perfectionist. Um, I've lived that life before, and that was kind of miserable life. <laughs> I'm glad to just be enjoying and doing at this point. I used to be so bad about everything had to be perfect, and I'm talking about, you know, inside my house and projects I did and things like that, but I've, I'm over that, okay? <laughs> now, I was going to... I just went ahead and did that corner just because I thought we would lay this out and see. So you can see here that I did, that's where I did the little um, part, making sure, no, 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 no. Um, but what I want to do is I want to, well, I was going to say I was going to turn it and put my pins in again, but maybe not. Let me just see. I don't want to skip any. But I can count them right here, I guess. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. So I'm chaining one. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just counting. I'm making sure that I'm not skipping this one right here. One, two, three, four. And this would be number four here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going all the way around. Every fourth one, unless I need to fudge it right there. Is you counting them for me, Sassy? Making sure they're all there. Okay, so in the corners, I did three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. On the sides, I'm doing just one chain in between each one. Except for that one where I had to like fudge it. I didn't want to add another. I just didn't think another chain would go good since I didn't skip that many. And then when I start my second round. When I come back around again. I will be able to just chain one and keep going. It'll all work out. So that's what I'm doing. I just wanted to come on and make a quick little video and let you guys know I am going to put a duck face on here. So there will be eyes and a duck bill right here. So I, I was waiting to do that part because this is the part where these were joining and such. And so I didn't know if I wanted that to be on the bottom of the duck face or the top of the duck head. I might end up putting like... um not feathers, but some, they look like feathers. And if I put those right here, then that would be the top of the head because it would kind of hide that a little bit. You can't really see it too much, but that you can tell that is where I was doing my joining. So that'll probably be the top of the head where I put the little, um, just chaining to make it look like little feathers on top of the head. So there we go. This is going to be a project that I'm working on during the day and it's for um, Big Daddy's co-workers grandbaby and this co-worker is the one that found him in his office when he um, was out on the floor unconscious she's the one that went to his office and as she was closing his door because he wasn't in there she happened to see his boot and she opened the door back up and saw him laying on the floor so I do not mind making something for her or her family at all. Because if it wasn't for her, Big Daddy wouldn't be here today. So, anyway guys, it's a beautiful day to crochet. And I will see you all in the Monday Night Crochet Sweetheart Blanket Answering the Questions Q&A. So, that's what I'm doing in that video every night now. It was in the mornings, but now it's made its way to nighttime. I'm answering questions that people leave in the comments. So I'll see you in that video next. Bye friends.